Hi everybody, welcome to my review of Season 1, Episode 12 of Little Women Dallas. If you haven't seen this episode yet, this video will act like a spoiler, so you might want to watch this video later. The name of this episode is Dallas Strong. The episode begins with Kaylee going on video chat with her sister, Chelsea, and she tells Chelsea that she's pregnant. Chelsea asks Kaylee if she's joking, Kaylee says no, and she begins to get a little emotional. Chelsea says that she can't believe that Kaylee would let that happen. Kaylee says that she doesn't want it to happen. She says that she's not ready to be a mom and she can't even provide for herself. She's scared and doesn't know what to do. And if her dad finds out, he will be so mad at her. Chelsea asks Kaylee what she's going to do. Kaylee says she's going to go to the doctor to make sure she's pregnant. Chelsea says that it might be scary, but they're going to get through it. And no matter the outcome of anything, her family will always be there for Kaylee. Next, the ladies attend an indoor surf class. In the commentary, Kaylee says that she doesn't want any of the ladies to know that she took a pregnancy test, so she had to show up to the class and act normal, when in reality, she just wants to stay home and hide in bed. After the class is over, Amanda tells the ladies that she has a bodybuilding competition coming up that weekend, and she wants to invite all of the ladies. The ladies are down to go. In the commentary, Amanda says that she's been training really hard for a local bodybuilding competition. She's really nervous because it's her first bodybuilding competition in Dallas, and she hopes that they take her seriously. She tells the ladies that Zach will be back in town, and her father will also be coming to the competition. Bree is shown in her house with her son Malik. Tiffany's boyfriend Austin calls Bree on FaceTime. In the commentary, Bree says that Austin texted her earlier because he wants to talk to her. And she's sure that Austin's calling her for advice on his relationship with Tiffany. She's willing to hear him out because she knows that Tiffany misses him. Austin says that he's been trying to come back to Dallas and Tiffany has no idea. Bree tells Austin that that is a big risk. Austin says that he doesn't know how Tiffany feels on the whole situation. Bree says that if Austin has all his stuff together and did everything Tiffany told him to as far as changing, then he should return to Dallas. Austin says he wants to show Tiffany that he can be the man that she wants him to be. Austin says that he needs Bree's help on making his return to Dallas a big surprise for Tiffany and maybe they can meet up to get things together. Bree says that she's fine with that. Asta goes over to Emily's house so they can video chat with Tara Jolay about the bar, since Emily and Tara are doing a business partnership. Asta shows Tara some of the logo designs she made one by one. Tara says that they're good logos, but she doesn't know if any of them are right for the pop-up bar, and the logo should reflect an upper-scale audience. And Asta's designs look cartoony and cheap. She doesn't want it to look childish, and wants the logo to look more modern. She says that they still have to order posters for the logo. Asta says that it takes time to make logos. Tara says that Asta has 24 hours to make a new design for the bar, since they're on a time crunch. In the commentary, Asta says that Tara doesn't understand how long it takes to design a logo, and 24 hours is crazy. In the next scene, Asta and her husband Ty go to an independent art gallery. In the commentary, Asta says that she's been in contact with the owner of the art gallery and she's trying to get her artwork into their next show. She shows the owner some of her art pieces. The owner says that they have a lot of wall space that needs to be filled up and asks Asta if she has any more art pieces than what she brought. Asta says at the moment that's all she has for that collection. The owner says that Asta needs at least double as many paintings if she wants to be in the art show. In the commentary, Asta says that she's never had to work that fast before, but having her in that art show could really put her on the map in Dallas. Asta tells the owner that she thinks that she can do it. Asta tells Ty that things are stressful for her because she already agreed to make a logo for Emily's bar, and she's nervous because she doesn't think she has enough time for that. Ty says that those are her dreams, and he wants her to try to do that. Asta decides that the deadline for the art show is way more important than Emily's bar. In the next scene, Kaylee goes to the doctor. Bree comes along for support. Kaylee says that she had a blood test done regarding her pregnancy, and she's back to see the results. And those results could change the rest of her life. Kaylee tells Bree that she would like to have a family someday, but not at the moment. 
Kaylee meets with her midwife. In the commentary, Kaylee says that she doesn't want a baby and she can't be pregnant. Kaylee tells the midwife that she has been spotting for probably a week. The midwife says that it may be normal to spot during pregnancy, but not all the time. Then, the midwife brings out Kaylee's blood work results. She says Kaylee's results show that Kaylee could be three to four weeks pregnant. In the commentary, Kaylee says that when she found out she was pregnant, it hit her like a ton of bricks. She didn't know what to feel or what to say. Kaylee begins to cry. Bree comforts Kaylee and tells her that it's going to be okay. The midwife says that since Kaylee is spotting, she needs to do a sonogram. After the sonogram, Kaylee is told by the midwife that it doesn't look like there is a trace of pregnancy in her uterus, but it does look like Kaylee had a miscarriage. In the commentary, Kaylee says that knowing you had a miscarriage sucks. Even though you don't want a baby, knowing that a baby was once inside of you has died is the worst feeling in the world, and she wouldn't wish that on anybody. I really didn't think that Kaylee was pregnant. I thought this was just staged, but no, this is real. <sighs> wow. Shout out to Bree for being a really supportive friend. No. she's Bree is a really good person. She's really supportive emotionally and spiritually for her friends. That's so sad though. Just think about the emotional roller coaster Kaylee has been on. In the next scene, Kaylee, Amanda, and Amanda's friend, whose name is also Amanda, go to a custom swimsuit place so Amanda can get a swimsuit for her bodybuilding competition. Amanda picks out the fabric and what kinds of jewelry she wants on the swimsuit. Kaylee asks Amanda what she's going to do about her makeup and hair for the bodybuilding contest and suggests that she could do her makeup for the show and Tiffany can do her hair. Amanda says that she's won fourth place at figure competitions and the upcoming one is her seventh competition that she's participated in and she would love to qualify for nationals. Next, Bree and Austin meet up at the flower store. Austin tells Bree that he got a job and he misses Tiffany. Bree asks Austin if he's going to buy some flowers from the store to apologize to Tiffany. Austin says that when he plans on meeting up with Tiffany again, he's going to propose to her. Bree tells Austin that he and Tiffany are so young and an engagement is a big deal. In the commentary, Bree says that she has no idea how Tiffany is going to react to Austin proposing. She knows she misses him, but going from kicking him out to being engaged is going from 0 to 100 real quick. Austin tells Bree that he's committed to Tiffany and committed to marriage. Bree asks Austin if he asks Tiffany's dad or one of her family members for permission to marry her. Austin says no because he didn't know how to approach them about it. Wow, Austin. I think he should wait. It's a little too soon. I think that they should build, you know, more. Like, have like a steady income, you know, before they get married. That's just my opinion. In the next scene, Kaylee, Bree, and Emily do some interviews for potential employees for the mini bar. All of the people interviewed are little people, and some of the people being interviewed dance for them since Emily is looking for energetic people to work at the bar. We don't know who they chose yet, and we might see that next episode. It is the day of Amanda's bodybuilding competition. Tiffany and Kaylee show up to the venue with her since they'll be doing her hair and makeup. Amanda gets a spray tan. In the commentary, Amanda says that leading up to a bodybuilding competition, you get spray tanned three or four times before stepping on stage because the stage lights are so bright they wash out all of your definition and the dark tan guarantees that the judges can see what you're working with. The three ladies go to a hotel room so Amanda can get all dolled up. Amanda's boyfriend, Zach, and her father, Steven, meet Amanda, Kaylee, and Tiffany in their hotel room while they're doing her makeup. Then, Bree and Emily arrive to the venue. Asta tells the ladies that she got accepted into an art gallery. She said that unfortunately the timing of that opportunity is bad because she doesn't think she has time to make the logo for the bar. Emily asks Asta if she just said that she's not going to make the logo for the mini bar, which was opening that week, after making a business agreement to do it. In the commentary, Emily says if she can't go back and tell Sarah that she doesn't have anybody to design the logo. Emily says that she's on a crunch schedule too. And she handed Asta a giant opportunity, and she's already on a contract with somebody. Emily says that she's on a crunch schedule too. She handed Asta a giant opportunity. She's already on a contract with somebody, 
and Asta is supposed to be almost done with the project. In the commentary, Asta says that Emily is blowing things way out of proportion by attacking her, and she doesn't appreciate it at all. And all she's doing is telling her that she has a lot on her plate. She wants to be able to do it all, but as a friend, she wants her to realize how big an opportunity the art show is for her. Asta tells Emily that she has to do what's right for her. Emily says that a legal agreement is what it is. Asta says she's letting Emily know in advance. Emily says that Asta is supposed to be almost done with the logo. In the commentary, Emily says that's why she was hesitant to work with Asta in the first place. She's over it and over Asta. They agree to talk about the situation later and be there to support Amanda. The ladies sit down and watch some other figure competitors. The ladies are a little creeped out and amused by some of the male competitors flexing their muscles while wearing speedos. Then it's the female figure competitors turn to come out. Amanda goes on stage and she gets cheered on. After all the other female competitors come on stage one by one, it is time to announce the ranks. And Amanda gets second place, which is the best that she's ever done in a competition. She receives a medal shaped like the state of Texas. Then the ladies, Amanda's boyfriend Zach, and Amanda's father go into Amanda's hotel room to celebrate her victory. They pop some champagne and Amanda eats a donut so she can eat whatever she wants since the competition is over. In the final scene of the episode, Tiffany arrives at her house. She opens the door and sees candles and rose petals on the floor that lead to her living room. Tiffany follows the trail of flower petals and is surprised to see her boyfriend Austin there. Austin hands her a bouquet of flowers. In the commentary, Tiffany says that she's speechless and she's wondering why Austin is there. Austin says that he didn't really leave on the best terms with her. He tells her that he got a job and... When he first set his eyes on her, he couldn't imagine being with someone else. Then he tells Tiffany to put her bouquet of flowers down. Then he gets on one knee and proposes to her. Tiffany is just surprised and she asks him if he's for real. Austin is like, yes. And he's like, what do you say? And we don't know what she says because this will be continued next episode. Dag nabbit. Of course we will find out what she says next episode. What do you guys think that Tiffany's going to say? I think that she's going to say, no, we're moving a little too fast. Because, you know, they're still young. They still have some building to do, you know? And guess what? I made a Twitter poll on my Twitter. I will put the link in the description to the poll where you can vote on what do you what you think Tiffany's going to say. The poll ends on Wednesday, May 10th around 11 p.m. Pacific Coast time. So if you're watching this and this video is just pretty new, you better get to voting. Now let me reflect on the rest of this episode about Kaylee's miscarriage. That's, that's an unfortunate situation. I'm happy that Amanda got second place in her competition. And speaking of Amanda, you notice how when they showed Zach, they had his name and then underneath it, it said Amanda's boyfriend. So... I guess that Amanda and Zach are back together. They were trying to rekindle their relationship. Hope he's serious this time. And about Asta, I kind of feel for her, you know, receiving two great opportunities like at the same time. I don't know, I don't know what she should do. She should have made the mini bar logo first and then did the paintings for the art gallery. Or she could have done them like at the same time. I don't know what she should do, but. I don't have any more thoughts about this episode, so I'll just wrap this video up. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you liked it. Hope you found it informative. Follow me on Twitter at ILU more than this. Subscribe to my channel. If you have subscribed, turn on my notifications. I have one more thing that I want to announce before I close this video. I decided to make a new category of videos for my channel. I call them random reviews, and those videos will be reviews of random episodes from TV shows that I don't usually cover and other things that I will stumble upon that I want to review. The first video will be on the Seven Little Johnson season two episode titled Brain Surgery for Alex. So just keep an eye out for that. That's all I've got to say and I will see you guys next time. Bye.